right, what do we do with this talk of Marvell Technology? The semiconductor company made some bullish comments about uh, AI back in May, sent the stock up 32% in a single session. I think the stock did get ahead of itself a little bit, but it's been paying the price ever since. Marvell bottomed along with the rest of the semiconductor cohort in late October, but then the stock got hit pretty hard after the company reported last Thursday night. While the actual quarterly results were quite strong, management paired that with the tepid forecast for the fourth quarter and the start of next year. Now, Mar Marvell's AI revenue has grown even faster than expected, but is that enough to justify sticking with the stock when the rest of the business seems to be, let's just say, facing some near-term weakness? Let's check out with Matt Murphy. He's the straight-shooting chairman and CEO of Marvell Technology. Get a better sense of what's happening here. Mr. Murphy, welcome back to Mad Money. Hey, Jim. Great to be here. Thanks for having me on. Okay, so, Matt, this is really, uh, I have to tell you, your stock is one of the hardest for me to analyze because, on the one hand, <laughs> you have got this incredible business, this AI business, where you're teamed up with NVIDIA. I see that thing growing even faster than you do. On the other hand, you've got some, I don't even want to call them legacy businesses. They're good businesses, but some of them are in a cyclical downturn. How do you tell me first how big the opportunity is in AI, but then you can tell because you know how we owned it for the trust and we got a little nervous. Tell us about whether things aren't bottoming in the other part. We can be and we can just rest assured that it's a good stock to own right now. Sure. Great, Jim. Yeah, let's talk about AI first. Uh, as you mentioned um, earlier this year, when we laid out our AI opportunity, we talked about it being basically $400 million of revenue this year, which was roughly double from a year ago and then going to 800 million next year. Uh, the latest update actually is that in the fourth quarter, we're guiding our AI revenue to be north of 200 million per quarter um, on a quarterly basis exiting the year. So we have a great setup for AI next year. Our overall cloud and data center business is set to grow again next year. And that's a real positive. On the other side of the business, what, and I agree, it's not our legacy business, our carrier and our enterprise segments by design are part of the diversified business model of Marvell, Jim. And while both are going through a cyclical uh, correction uh, at the moment, if you actually look at even last quarter, in our third quarter, we had record carrier revenues, as an example. And so um, looking forward, those two businesses over time are going to get through their cyclical downturn. They provide a very solid foundational base to Marvell uh, when they're back at their run rates. And they're very healthy, long-term, sticky businesses for, Mel for Marvell. And it's part of our diversified strategy to have uh, multiple different end markets that we're exposed to um, for, for growth over the long term. Well, you know what? It, it kind of feels a little bit like when I was speaking to Chuck Robbins from Cisco. I mean, they had a great last quarter. Then, and I know you guys do a lot of business together. And then they actually said, look, um, we have a couple quarters where it's going to be tough. But then we're going to come back. I mean, that's what I was thinking about Marvell. A couple quarters where it could be tough, but then you come back. No, I think that's right. There's a, there's a you know, look, I've, I've been in this industry a long time, Jim. Uh, there has always been cyclicality in the semiconductor industry. Uh, you've probably heard this multiple times. There's, there's no new normal. There's no new uh, way of doing things. It's always going to have some cyclicality to it. The nice thing about us is the cyclical nature of it um, is buffeted and balanced by having a market uh, you know, diversification. So, yeah, it's going to take some time for these markets to normalize. But earlier this year, when data center, by the way, across the industry had corrected down sharply for everybody, if you remember about a year yep. ago, our carrier and enterprise businesses actually carried the day. And so from a, from a uh, uh, kind of a linear perspective, we've been able to manage the company pretty effectively and, and avoid, you know, a hard landing that some of the other companies with a lot of consumer exposure or, or less diversification have gone through. So we run the company for the long term, Jim. Um, and I think having these, having these different markets are good. And, and by the way, when those come back, It'll be a tailwind, right? A tailwind right. on revenue, a tailwind on earnings, and it provides a stable base uh, for the company to grow off of. Now, I think a lot of the bulls, uh, myself included, are looking at AI and saying, you know what, that's going to be 50 percent of the business. But I don't want it to be 50 percent because the rest of the business is falling off a cliff. I want a growing pie, and it just so happens that the part that's growing the fastest is AI. Now, is 24, is it conceivable in calendar year 24 that that could happen? Yeah, so, so uh, just to give some numbers to it, in the fourth quarter, we're guiding our overall data center business to be about 50% of company total. And AI is a portion of that and the fastest growing. 
That's actually been part of our long-term plan, Jim. If you go back mm -hmm. to our analyst day we had in October 2021, we talked about a vision actually to grow Marvell's data center business to half the company. Right. Um, it's had some, some, some ups and downs along the way in terms of being a percentage total just because of the, the, uh, the uh, supply demand situation that's gone on the last few years. But we're tracking actually to where we want it to be as a percent of total. I think the AI portion being a bigger part of that than we thought a few years back is actually a good thing because that part of the business is tied to a bigger trend which is really accelerated computing right. of which AI is sort of the biggest application today. So we have great excitement around our data center business for growth next year and over the long term and it will be Marvell's fastest growth driver. So so yeah, the AI portion just to be clear is not not half the business, but it's right. uh, it's an important part of an important part of half the business, which is data center. Okay, so what do we do uh, enterprise networking and automotive? I mean, I know that they're not, you know, together they're a considerable part of your company and both of them were uh, your outlook is just not so good there, man. Yeah, so so on the uh, on the enterprise side, like we talked about, there's there is cyclicality to that. Right, we, okay. we, um, and that's been coming down for a few quarters, and it'll correct over time. Automotive has been on a tremendous run. Okay, I mean, this was a business that we developed fundamentally organically at Marvell. Uh, we got it to several hundred millions of hundred million dollars of revenue per year, up from nothing a few years ago. Um, that business has performed extremely well from a year-over-year -year basis. We said it was going to be flatter, you know, in, in the short term here. But if we look to next year, automotive has got tremendous growth in front of us. And that's primarily because even if car units are flat or they don't grow much, the content that Marvell provides inside these vehicles for in-vehicle networking is increasing significantly every year and the number of customers that we have. Right. So overall, it's a, it's a very positive... Uh, 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 end market for us. I'd say in the short term, after you know two three years of continuous growth, it's flattened right. out a little bit. But and it's then, actually uh, not a big deal at, at all. Last, okay. And last, last consumer just okay, right? But that's a lot of people's yeah, consumer actually, just okay. That's right, and that's been an area where we haven't emphasized uh, you know R and D investment for some time. When you know I became CEO a little over seven years ago, that was the biggest part of the portfolio. It was roughly 60% plus of our revenue. Uh, we've undergone a transformation to focus on pure play infrastructure. So this year it was about 10% of our revenue and we've grown the company dramatically over that time frame. So the mix has shifted favorably. Right. We're, um, and, we're, and we've guided investors for a long time that that business would trend down over time because it's not an area of focus. And uh, where we're putting our R&D dollars is really where the puck is going, which is in high-performance data infrastructure applications driven by accelerated computing. That's going to be the biggest okay. uh, semiconductor opportunity, I think, over the next um, several years. All right, Matt. Well, look, thank you for putting in the right perspective. It's, been, it, it, it's tough to understand, but I think that people who are listening now know exactly what they're getting into, and the stock is down a lot, so I, you, you laid it out well. That's Matt Murphy. He's president and CEO of Marvell Technology. Thank you for coming on, Matt. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Okay, Matt Money be back here for the break.